Hello everyone, welcome on campus here at Chaminade, and today welcome on stage here in the Skip Vera Center. We're on the set of our production of Oklahoma, which is coming up this weekend. I'm joined by three of our actors, Zion Harrell, Tom Smith, and Daniel Sanso. Thanks guys uh, for joining me uh, today. Uh, so we've got a big show coming up uh, this weekend, so we're super excited about that. So just wanted to ask you guys a couple questions to share some information with the audience. Tom, can you give us a little preview, you know, a short synopsis of Oklahoma? What is it? What's the basic storyline? What can the audience expect? Sure. Well, the story takes place in 1906, uh, pre-state Oklahoma, the Indian Territory. Uh, focus is on uh, a farm girl, Lori Williams, and her uh, love battle, more or less, between uh, Curly, the cowboy, and Judd, the grumpy old uh, farmer. Uh, farmhand who's working there on the farm and the story pretty much centers around the conflict there and then also sometimes shifts to a secondary romantic plot involving Will, another cowboy, and uh, and his girl, the flirtatious Ado Andy. Awesome, right? So yeah, a lot of crazy stuff happens, uh, a lot of comedic stuff, a lot of fun stuff, some serious stuff too. We've got some stage combat, some violence and stuff, so um, hopefully there's a lot for people to, uh, to watch. And certainly it's a musical, right? So we're going to be singing, we're going to be dancing, so hopefully visually entertaining. Uh, so Daniel, we've talked on one of these features before for our, our last production of Charlie's Aunt, mm -hmm. uh, which you had a good role in as well. Um, could you share with our audience a little bit, maybe insight into you as an actor, like how was it different for you to prepare for this kind of a role in a musical and, and for this character versus the character of Charlie's in the character in Charlie's Aunt? One of the main differences, of course, was in Charlie's Aunt, I played a young college kid in London. Now I'm going to the Great Plains of Oklahoma. Still a young kid, of course, but they have their own separate. They all have their own separate problems and interests in life, and I think one of the greater problems is really developing that character, and as well as learning and perfecting the music. But it's not just a challenge; it's also something I really enjoy doing. Great, I love it, and, and certainly, right, the musical element adds a whole other layer to it. Uh, also, too, dealing with different dialects, right? I know you, we've, we've had a dialect coach come in and work with us a little bit on both, so uh, you've done well at mastering those. So you're, you you can talk like a farmhand and uh, and a sophisticated young gentleman in London. So Zion, we're obviously here on the scenery of the show, or some of the scenery. Can you explain a little bit about what the audience is seeing and what they will see when they come to see the show this weekend? Yes, yeah, so we have constructed this um, house. This is Lori's house, and we also have this very more of an abstract feel to the background. And it's pretty versatile with all the scenes, and it works pretty well. It's very beautiful, as long as most of our props have a nice old-timey and country feel to it. For sure, right? So we're trying to display and, and portray the the open land of Oklahoma, sort of the openness, the, the sort of s houses and the buildings you'll see uh, are not sort of fully realized. It's more sort of expressionistic. So. Um, I'm really excited about our design. I think it'll be really beautiful. We've got some beautiful lighting uh, that we're looking forward to as well. Uh, so Tom, maybe wrap us up by uh, what are some of the challenges, both maybe for you as an actor for this show or, or that the show is faced overall in, in sort of uh, doing a show and doing theater within COVID that, that I know has been a bit of a challenge for us. Sure. Uh, well, for me personally, uh, portraying Judd, the, the villain, he's this big, hulking brood of a man. And I mean, and he's, he's mean, he's, he gets right down to the, the dirty, gritty, dark place. And, and that's been tough for me because I'm not really a big, <laughs> lunky guy, but, uh, um, but past that, I mean, it's been, it's been fun. It's been a good deviation from what I'm used to. Um, but as for the show in general, uh, looking for uh, things like COVID have impacted the show and that we've struggled sometimes to get people coming here because they might be sick at home or they might have been um, exposed to somebody who was sick. Um, so in that, getting people here to practice has been a challenge. But you know, overall, I think that the show has come together pretty well. We've gotten enough time in here that um, the show coming out this weekend will be a very good one. And I'm hoping that everybody comes out and sees it. All right, sounds good. Yeah, we are excited to uh, be doing theater through COVID. We, hopefully we're past that spike and we sort of rehearsed through the spike and so now we're on the other side. We're going to be happy to be without masks and all that good stuff. So it's sort of like the knock on wood the old days in that way. So uh, as Tom was saying, the show is this Thursday, Friday and Saturday. There's uh, four performances, Thursday night at 7, Friday night at 7 and Saturday night at 7. There's also a 2 p.m. matinee on Saturday the 19th. So it's the 17, 18 and 19 of February. Hope you can come and join us. Uh, lots of tickets available. Uh, it's a really great show. And thanks again, guys, for joining us today. Thank and thank, thank you out you. there for joining us uh, here on our on-campus features at Chaminade.